Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and thank you so so much for tuning in with me today. So first off, happy happy new year. I really hope you guys had a great start to 2024. However, in today's video we are going to have a look back at 2023 and I'm going to be doing the best of 2023. So as you can imagine, I really do enjoy making this type of video. I like talking about my favorite products, especially, you know, a nice lovely roundup. However, I'm going to try and limit myself to solely the new releases. So the releases of 2023 products that came out last year unless there was a category where nothing has left an impression on me. And actually there are a few categories where I feel like 2023 has just left me with no product worth mentioning. So if that's the case, I'm just gonna throw in a product that does deserve a special mention, something that most likely came out last year, just to fill in the gap. And of course, I would be really curious to know what was your favorite product of 2023? Was there any product or a couple of products maybe that stood out to you, please drop me a comment down below because you guys know I'm always really curious to read your opinions on the products, you know, to hear from your experience. And in case you do enjoy today's video, also please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. In case you're new here, why not subscribe to the channel because there's a lot of exciting things to come in 2024. And also please don't forget to ring the bell in order to stay notified about my upcoming uploads. And in case something sparks your interest to the point that you would like to shop something from my best off list, I am going to be linking all of the products in my description box down below with some affiliate links. Just know those are generated through my third party partner over at Shop My Shelf. I am not affiliated with any of the brands that I'm going to be talking about. I did not receive any of this in PR and I'm not sponsored by any means. I thought I would just mention that real quick. And also in case you have shopped through my links in 2023, just know I truly, truly appreciate that. So thank you so, so much for the ongoing support. But all right, you guys, that's pretty much everything I wanted to say for the intro. And the way we are going to be doing this is we are going to go from category to category. So, you know, we're going to be starting off with the primers and we are going to end it off with the lip products. Let's actually kick it off with the very first category and let's start talking about the primers of 2023. And the funny thing about this category in particular is that I don't really have a release of 2023 that has deserved this spot. I was so unfortunate. I have just tried primers last year that I ended up not liking. So I thought I would just quickly mention to you guys the three primers that I had included in my best of 2022 video last year. Those are the primers that I still love. I truly still love them and I have repurchased all three of them. I have emptied them out and I repurchased them this year so my love for these primers is completely real. And let's just start with one of them. This is the Jane Iredale Smooth Affair Mattifying Face Primer. I love this. This is such a good primer. This will mattify your face without giving you cake face, without drying it out. It kind of has like a hydrating texture to it. But once this dries down, like once it sinks into the skin, it's going to leave your face matte and really smooth though. And I just really adore this. Again, this is my second bottle. I love it. I don't want to ever be without this. This is so, so good. And the same goes for the next one. And that one is the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. In the beginning, I had like a 30 milliliter bottle. Now I upgraded it to a jumbo size just because I love this. <laughs> this is one of my most used primers, you know, because this probably works with most of the foundations that I'm using. This almost has like more of like a gel consistency to it. I just love the feel on my skin. This leaves my skin super smooth, super blurred, and also a little bit mattified. This is just a diehard favorite of mine. I also feel like when I'm using this, this kind of does prolong the wear of my foundations to a certain degree. Not every time, but most of the time it does. And it's just really, really special. I just love the texture. I love the finish that I achieve when I'm using this and I really, really did enjoy it a lot. And then I also did repurchase the Huda Beauty Glowish Primer. This one is actually one that I like to use whenever I'm using a foundation that does not contain any silicones because this is actually silicone free. Yet it kind of feels like a silicone primer. It's actually coming in this little jar right here. And I mean, this is my second one. It has like this beautiful cooling gel texture to it. 
and it definitely blurs, but it's also the most hydrating one out of these three. I feel like this is definitely a little bit better in case you have like drier skin. So again, my top primers from 2022 are still my favorite ones in 2023. I did not expect to not have a product for this category. I was looking through the primers that I tried out this year and they just did not deserve a spot here. Okay, so, you know, once I'm doing my fails video, because that's also going to come up, you'll see some of the primers that I was using this year and they weren't great. They really weren't good. So these are still top notch. And it just goes to show when I'm repurchasing a product that I truly love it. I really do. And look, these three are repurchased products in 2023. But yeah, so let's actually move on to the next category and let's talk about foundations. Same goes for foundations. I feel like this year wasn't like the highlight here for foundation releases. I have tried quite a few foundations that were quite mediocre. But at the end of the day, I do have two foundations for today's video where I feel like these deserve the spot. So let's actually start off with the foundation that is a little bit newer to me, but I just fell in love with this straight away. I am also wearing this foundation on my face right now. And that is the Rose Ink Soft Light Skin Smoothing Liquid Foundation. Oh my gosh, I just waited too long to actually give this one a try. And once I've tried it out, I just was hooked. This is just a beautiful light to medium buildable coverage. I love the texture of this. I love of the way this blends out. Usually I'm using a sponge to blend this out and this really has a beautiful natural more satin finish. I mean this is not like a dewy sort of luminous foundation. I kind of thought in the beginning when this was released that this would be like a dewy mess. So I never like gave it a chance. I never picked this one up and when I tried it out I was like where was this foundation all my life because this is so 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 beautiful. I actually have this in the shade 7C, which is described as a light shade with cool undertones. I really feel like this shade is almost like a perfect shade match. It's really, really good. And I just love this. I love the coverage. I love the finish. I also feel like this wears for such a long time. And then another foundation that I feel like is worth mentioning that I really fell in love with is the REM Beauty Sweetener Foundation. I feel like this is so good for the price point. This performs so well. This is just such a dream foundation. And if you acquire a little bit more coverage, something medium to full coverage, I would say go with this one. I mean, the rose ink one, you know, you can definitely get it to like a medium coverage, but it's not like a full on like coverage. You know, this one is going to give you full coverage. I honestly love this. I love this packaging. This is so pretty. It's really, really nice. This does come in a lot of shades now. You know, there is no shade for me. So I'm mixing the shade Light 7C together with the shade Light 5 Neutral. 5N5 Neutral has definitely more of a pink undertone to it. And this was described as a cool undertone. However, this leans a little bit peachy. So when I mix these two together, it's working out fine. But yeah, this one and the Rose Ink Foundation just favorites of mine. I feel like this is such a good one. You can get this at Sephora and I feel like for the price point, this has a very luxurious formula. This also wears so well. You know, this does not break up on me. If I powder this down, this actually holds up for my entire day. And I just really enjoyed this product so, so much. So those two were my favorite foundations of 2023. All right, so let's actually move on to the concealers and for the concealer category. This was another category that kind of failed me in 2023, but nonetheless, I did find one of the best concealers out there, in my opinion. I mean, this works really, really well on me and I love it. And I also have emptied an entire bottle of this and I've already repurchased this. So this is the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. I freaking love this concealer. This concealer is so amazing. This concealer makes my under eye so smooth, has a really great amount of coverage, gives me almost like no creasing. I mean, I've never come across you know, a concealer that was 100% crease free because I do have like two prominent like lines underneath my eyes, but this really does not accentuate these lines. I feel like 
if anything it's super smoothening it's also quite hydrating this blends out like a dream you don't need a lot of product this has great coverage and also for spot concealing i find this really really amazing this is the shade r5 they actually have so so many undertones so many shades i think she released this in like if I'm not mistaken, even like 50 or maybe 40 shades. This was also, funny enough, the very first product I've ever tried by Natasha Denona. And this is also something that I'm using constantly. But all right, as I said, I don't have many concealers that worked out for me this year. So let's actually move on to the next category. Let's move on to the setting powders. So let's actually start with the one that was 100% released last year. And that is the Jane Iredale Shine Control Pure Matte Finish Powder. Now this powder does not come with a case which is a little bit of a shame so I just literally put it in one of my old Jane Iredale cases this is so old I don't know if you can still purchase this but this powder look at that I have packed this this is how much I love this powder I feel like this is one of the best setting powders ever and it's also a pressed setting powder. I just really love it. You know, this is kind of like if you adore the Kosas Cloud Set powder, but you want something that has a little bit more staying power, something that is a little bit stronger, but that still just makes your skin look so pretty. I constantly reach for this powder. I feel like Jane Iredale somehow has amazing powder products and an amazing powder formula because in the beginning I was so worried that this powder would give me cake face because it's called matte. But no, this is not like a strong mattifying powder. This is just simply beautiful. I definitely have some other powders that are a little bit stronger. And this is not one of them. And in all honesty, this is reminding me of a better version of the Kosas Cloud Set Powder. Like if you have never tried this, give this one a go because it's so good. It's not the strongest in oil control, okay? It's just very smoothing, very blurring and just looks phenomenal. I just really, really love this. Now, if you do require a stronger powder, this is the one that I don't know when this was actually released, but I thought I would, you know, still mention this in today's video because I actually discovered this in 2023 and this is a game changer. So this is the Levera Invisible Finish Loose Powder. This is a drugstore powder. This is very inexpensive, but this is one of the best powders I have tried in my entire life. This is so good. This is what keeps my foundations like intact for the entire day. If you are struggling with oily skin, if you are struggling with skin that just kind of breaks up foundations, you know when your foundations kind of look like shiny after a couple of hours, if you put this one on, it's not going to do that. I promise you. This is the best mattifying, blurring, smoothing powder ever. <laughs> it's the strongest without giving me the cake face. And I wore this to a Slipknot concert. And after the concert, my friend looked at me and she was like, what do you have on your face? You are not even shining. I'm probably like, my makeup has probably left the building. It has all melted down. My makeup was still intact. And if you've ever been to a Slipknot concert, I'm telling you, there is no way that you leave that concert with your makeup still on. Such a good one. I have no idea when this was released, but this definitely does deserve the spot in best of 2023. I mean, I discovered this powder last year and, you know, I never ever want to be without this. And I never thought that out of all of the powders that I've ever tried in my entire life, this would be one of my holy grails. But all right, you guys, those were all of my favorite base products for the complexion of 2023. So let's actually move over to the color complexion products. Let's move over to bronzers, sculpting products, blushes, and highlighters. And let's kick it off maybe with the sculpting product. So this is the Contour Stylus by Victoria Beckham Beauty. This little cream contour stick is actually stupidly expensive for the amount of of quantity that you're actually going to get. You're not going to get a lot of product in here. But let me tell you the quality of this, the formula and this color. This is the color Travertine. So good. So, so, so good. This is an excellent shade match. This matches my undertone so, so well. I actually did feature this in a video where I compared all of my cream contour collection products to each other. And it's just such a good formula. I also love the fact that this comes 
in a stick with kind of like a small applicator and it just makes it so easy to contour your nose with, you know, to slowly build this up. You can be so precise with this and I felt like this was kind of innovative. You know, this is like a really beautiful almost cream to powder formula. It is so easy to blend out. It is just such a good contouring shade for me. The shade of this is just perfect for my neutral leaning cool undertone skin. Although this is really expensive for what you're actually gonna get is so good. What you're actually gonna get in terms of quality is top notch and I just love this. And this was my favorite contour product that was released in 2023. So let's actually move on to the bronzers. This is also a product that I constantly reach for, where I love the undertone, where I love the shade, and it's just kind of hard to find a shade, you know, in a bronzer that does not pull too warm, too orange, because if you have watched my channel for any time, you know that I don't really like that. So this is the Jane Iredale Pure Bronze Matte Bronzer. This bronzer was loved this year. This is such an amazing bronze. I'm also wearing this today. This has more of a neutral, leaning cool undertone. It's a matte bronzer, but again, the powder formula is so smooth. Blends out like a dream. This is not patchy. This is also the lightest shade. And I feel like this shade leans definitely more neutral, but not over the top cool. So it's still a bronzer but it's not like one of those bronzers that would pull orange or just too warm. I don't really like those. It's a little bit expensive, but again, it's the only one that was released this year that I just loved to this degree that it would be worth mentioning. So let's move on to the next category, which is the blushes. And I also feel like for some whatever reason, it wasn't the year of the blush, was it? It really wasn't. But I chose two cream blushes and one powder blush only, although I do prefer powder products in general. So let's start off with those cream blushes. So this one was most definitely released last year in 2023, and that is the Danessa Myricks Beauty Yummy Skin Flushed Blurring Balm Powder. I like this. I really did enjoy this. This actually does come in six different shades. Now, most of the shades really did not speak to me, but this shade in particular is called Rosé and Brunch, and I really like it. It's also the blush that I'm wearing today. I really love this. This is actually a really great cream blush formula. What I really like about this is the fact that this has a lot of staying power. Not a lot of cream blushes do have staying power on my skin because my skin loves to eat them. <laughs> it just loves to eat them, absorb them, and then just the whole pigmentation is just gone after a couple of hours of wear time. This one just stays with me until the end of the day. And I've already been wearing this for a couple of hours by now. And it's still there and it's still looking super pretty, super natural. I just really have adored this one. This is such a good one. And it's just, it's a really solid cream blush. So this deserves to be in here. And then the next one is honestly not like a new formula that was released in 2023. It is just a new shade that was added to an already existent product. But this is one of my holy grail cream blushes of all time. So I thought it would be worth mentioning this one. And of course, I'm talking about the Airy Paris Carrot Color part. And this is the shade Humble. This was a new shade that was released in 2023. It's like this beautiful baby pink. And I really do love this shade. This one is also one of those that will stay with you until the end of the day. This is so pretty on the skin. Very pigmented though. Just start off with a little bit and then slowly build it up. I feel like these are a little bit more opaque than the Danessa Myricks formula. I feel like when I put on Danessa Myricks, I can always kind of like see my skin underneath it. But with this, I feel like this has a lot more opacity to it. All of these work amazing on top of powder and you can also put another layer of powder on top of them. So that is also very important to me when I'm using cream blushes because, you know, I just want something that melts into my skin and that I can powder down in case it leaves me a little bit too luminous. And this is a little bit more of a luminous formula. This is still nothing that is over the top because I definitely do have some cream blushes that are way more luminous than this one. Uh, but yeah, it's just such a good formula and this shade is just so pretty. All right, so moving on to the powder blushes. And this is also a product that already was in existence last year and I already had it in my best of 2022 last year, but they have recently released a couple of new shades and I really wanted to highlight this shade in particular. And I'm of course talking about the RMS Redimension Hydra Powder Blush. This is the 
shade Kier Royal and I love this. This is such a good bake gelée formula. Like the only thing is you kind of have to build this blush up a little bit just due to the formula itself. This is also a refillable compact and this exists in so many shades. I feel like I featured most of the shades that I do own in a couple of videos on my channel, but I feel like this one is just the one that I like reaching for the most. Ever since I've tried these out, they wowed me and I still love them. So this is the only powder blush that is deserving uh, of a spot in today's video. So let's move on to a category where I felt like I had so many products and that is the highlighter category. So there are actually three highlighters that I chose. All of them were released in 2023. So maybe let's just stay with RMS Beauty and this is the Prosecco Fizz Redimension Hydra Dew Luminizer. And this also comes in the exact same packaging as the blushes. And it's also this baked jelly formula. This is something for people who don't like a glittery formula. I don't like glittery highlighters whatsoever. This is not texture enhancing. This just gives you that just like beautiful, beautiful glow from within. This is really like wet glow. And that's what I love. So the shade in and of itself might not be the most exciting one, but this formula most definitely is. So I really do hope that they are going to be releasing maybe some special shades in the future. Talking about special shades, if I want something a little bit different, if I want like, you know, maybe more of like a colored highlighter, this release blew me away and I just love this formula so, so, so much. And this is by Martin Cosmetics. It's the Shark Zone Highlighting Palette. I did not pick up the eyeshadow palette that came out with this collection, but when I saw these highlighters, this is so cool. Because to be honest, I don't have any sort of blue highlighters like that. I really don't. And this one in the middle, it's almost like an iridescent leaning like lime green. It's, it has a little bit of like a green reflect to it. This has a little bit more of the shimmer particles. Whereas these two are more on the subtle side, yet they give you that wet glow. And I think Martin Cosmetics makes such a good highlighter formula. I also have their standard palette that they are selling, you know, the one with the normal shades. If you are looking for like a little bit more of a blue undertone highlighter, and this is not giving you like a blue stripe, really not. It's literally just reflecting a little bit of blue. And I just love that. And then you also have this beautiful, more like peach sort of champagne highlighter that comes with it. And again, this one is so special. And then another highlighter that I feel like is absolutely fantastic. And that stole my heart in no time. The first time I've tried this out, I knew this would be a diehard favorite of mine, is by Bare Minerals, and this is their highlighting blush. So I decided to pick up the lightest shade, which is the shade Opal Glow. And honestly, this to me, you know, it does not have that much base pigment. Although it looks like it would, I still feel like this comes across on my skin like a typical highlighter. I get away with this, just placing it as a highlighter. It does not really show this more like neutral pink undertone, not really. I just feel like it, it gives you the most beautiful wet glow. And this is just so stunning and it's intense. It's really, really intense. I love it. I don't think any of the other shades would have wowed me that much because they do have more base pigment. So again, Opal Glow, if you want something that is a little bit closer to your standard highlighter. Now, if you do have a different skin tone, you know, Maybe this is not going to be for you at all. These two are really my most used highlighters for day to day. But when I want something very special, I'm going to reach for this most definitely. So those were the highlighters that really stood out to me this year. So let's actually move on to the next category, which are uh, eye products. Now, I'm not going to be including all of my eyeshadow palettes in today's video solely for the reason that I'm still going to be filming an eyeshadow palette ranking and I don't want to spoil anything. So I do have a couple of other eye products for this category. So let's kick it off with the eyebrows and I found two amazing eyebrow pencils. So maybe let's start off with the one that I have already repurchased. And this one is by Rare Beauty and it's the Brow Harmony Precision Pencil. I'm wearing this right now. I just love this pencil so much. I've already have emptied an entire pencil. I mean, there's, there's literally nothing left. This really reminds me of my beloved Item Beauty 
uh, brow pencil, you know, in terms of formula. This is a pencil that is pigmented enough, you know, that it actually does fill in my eyebrows. And when I comb through with the spoolie, the pigmentation does not disappear. I'm filling in my brows every day. There is no day where I'm not using an eyebrow pencil. So I really need something that lasts all day, that performs. And I found it in this pencil. I just love it. And, you know, when this is gonna go empty on me, I'm already gonna be repurchasing a new one because I want this forever in my life. The other eyebrow pencil that I love so much, but I'm not using this uh, in my everyday life. I'm just using this for special occasions just due to the price point. <laughs> this is by Victoria Beckham and this is the Baby Blade eyebrow pencil. I have this in the shade light brown. I just feel like, you know, this being a light brown, her shade range might lean a little bit deep, but this product is so fantastic. This is one of the best eyebrow pencils in the world. I mean, this is kind of like similar to the Rare Beauty one in terms of like how it disperses the pigment. This pigment is gripping onto my skin, you know, once I brush through, it's not brushing the pigmentation away. It really just gives my eyebrows life. It's almost unbeatable, you know. But these two are really where it's at with the eyebrow pencils that I've been loving. And I'm so glad I found a replacement for my Item Beauty beloved brow pencil. All right, so let's actually move on to the mascaras. And I just want to say straight away, I actually did put in a mascara in today's video that I have not reviewed just yet. But I've been using this for approximately three months and I still have not filmed the full face of this brand. I still need to do that. It's gonna come up very, very soon. But just a little bit of a spoiler. I mean, this was released in 2023. It was the only mascara that I could think of that was actually really, really good. And that is the new mascara by Ritual Defi, the Levitation Lash. I'm wearing this today and it's just, it's just so nice. This really just lifts my lashes and it's also quite separating. It's not a clumpy mascara. It is not too dry of a formula. It's not giving me like, you know, flakes that are crumbling down at the end of my day. Really not. And it's also not like smudging uh, where it would give me raccoon eyes. So in that sense, this formula is solid. It's really, really good. I cannot really say that for some other mascaras I was trying this year. I really enjoyed it. But I also want to mention my favorite mascara of all time to you guys because this was in my best of 2022 and I just wanted to show you how many of these I've actually went through in 2023. How many times I have repurchased this product and I cannot live without this one anymore. And of course I'm talking about my beloved Cloud Mascara by Sweet Beauty. I know some of you may be sick and tired of me talking about this but it still deserves a special mention uh, in today's video because it's just so damn good. This really is just so solid. I can trust this 100%. My lashes always look amazing when I'm using this. And guess what? I got three empties here. Three of them I've emptied in 2023. So this is like the most repurchased mascara of all time. And I just love it. And guess what? I already have a backup for this. <laughs> so this is just a mascara that I feel like is so underrated. I don't hear anyone talking about this really online, but I just wanted to show this some love because this is amazing. It's so, 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 so good. All right, and I completely forgot to talk about the eyeliner category. Why did I forget about that? I don't know. But there is one brand that really stood out to me in terms of eyeliners this year. Some of these shades were definitely released in 2023, but I do feel like this formula was already available at the end of 2022. But these are the Martin Cosmetics cold crayons. I just really need an eyeliner that stays in my watery waterline, you know? And also that is how I'm testing eyeliners. I never use eyeliners on my lids or anywhere. I just put them in my waterline. That's just how I prefer doing my makeup. But these are just so good. Like the colors are incredible. You can get so many cool colors here. They are not too expensive yet. They are so highly performing. And I just 
love them and I feel like this is my favorite eyeliner product of 2023 for sure otherwise I would have not purchased them in so many different shades I love them they're amazing but all right those were the eyeliners so let's actually move on to the last category let's move over to the lip products and maybe let's just start off with the liners as well so let's start off with a lip liner formula that is not brand new but they have really extended the shade range by quite a lot in 2023 and it's also one of my diehard favorite lip liners of all time so this is the lawless forget the filler definer liner these were the original shades there was a honey rose and honey rose was that lip liner that really started my love for this formula these new shades oh my god get out they are so good so today on my lips i'm actually wearing this new shade here and that's the shade nude honey and this was honestly a shade that was so needed and it was really missing from the original lineup so i'm so happy that they have added just like a nudie brownie shade this is gonna get used a lot and i also picked up three more shades and i picked up this shade pink slip which is like a cool toned mauvey pink it's so so pretty i also picked up the shade desert mauve which is more of like almost like a berry shade and the shade cinnamon which is really like a warm brown it's very very warm but depending on my looks i'm really in dire need of like a lip pencil like that and i just love this formula this is like a creamy uh, lip liner but it's not so creamy that it would bleed it is not like one that wears off really easily this will stay on your lips it's so beautiful it blends out beautiful I honestly love this formula so much sometimes I just want to put that lip liner all over my lips you know it's just that great and I really have loved this formula since day one and I'm so happy that they have expanded their shade range but I also wanted to mention two brand new lip liners that were released at the end of 2023 this is also by Sweet Beauty and it's their lip liner in the shade Cindy wow I love this lip liner formula this is so nice Sweet is the brand where I was talking about, you know, that cloud mascara. It is not too stiff, but it's also not too creamy. So it's a nice in-between sort of liner. I usually don't like it if my lip liners are too stiff. I really don't like that. So this is kind of like middle ground and I just really also love this shade. And then the next lip liner formula is one that I never talked about, but this is a shade that I was looking for my entire, entire life. And finally, I found a shade like this. And this is actually by Manasi 7. And it's the Eye and Lip Definer Matte Finish. This is the shade Yubari. Like, look at that. Look at that shade. I was looking for this cool toned purple grayish lip liner for forever. And I finally found it. When I saw the shades that they had released, I was like, I want this shade. This is also apparently a product that you can put on your eyes. If I'm using something on my lips, I don't necessarily want to use it on my eyes. I know you can sharpen the pencil, but I don't want to like continuously sharpen it just so that I can use it somewhere else. That's just not me. I'm too lazy to do that. Apparently you can use this as like an eyeshadow. I'm not sure about that though, but it works beautifully as a lip liner. That's how I'm using this and that's why I wanted this shade in particular. They also have a couple of other really kind of like unique shades and the formula is amazing. So top, top, top notch. So let's move on from the liners to the lip glosses, the lip balms, uh, the lip oils, whatever it is. The only thing I don't have for today's video is a bullet lipstick. Like I don't have a traditional lipstick for 2023. I don't know what happened. I've got plenty of other things. So maybe let's start off with like the matte sort of like lip products like the lip creams that give you a matte finish and this is by rare beauty their lip souffle creams i really do love that shade courage but that wasn't released in 2023 so these were the three new colors that they have added to their shade range love them all what can i say i feel like this is the most blurring matte lip cream i've ever tried these are not going to dry out your lips they are not going to give you that crinkly feeling on the lips you know these almost feel like whipped they are so comfortable on your lips and i really truly love them and then another product that i recently tried out that i really really love because it's so similar 
to these rare beauty lip souffles is by Rose Ink and this is the lipstick cream. This is the shade Counterways and I feel like this is very similar in formula and in texture to the rare beauty ones. I still feel like the rare beauty ones are a little bit more blurring, a little bit more whipped. This is very lightweight, yet it has like really great opacity, very great staying power on the lips, you know. This is very long wearing. It smells tropical. I don't know what the scent is, but it smells like passion fruit maybe. It gives me like tropical island vibes and I really like it. It's such a good one. Definitely worth mentioning. So let's actually move on to the glossy stuff, the balmy stuff, all of that. So maybe let's start off with this one. This is the Tower 28 Juice Balm Tinted Lip Balm. This was such a surprise to me. I did not think I would end up loving it as much as I actually do. This is, I've got this in one shade, it's the shade Mix. And this is a shade, mine is flat, like I've been using this quite a lot. So this is like a beautiful sort of, um, almost like a mauve nude brown. I love this shade. And every time I would go into work, I would wear this. This is not completely sheer. This still gives you a really decent amount of like coverage. And I just love how this feels on my lips. My lips feel really nourished. It's not like slippery or anything, you know. This is like an everyday product for me and it's really good. It's one of my favorite products by Tower 28. So let's actually move on with uh, a product that I forgot to mention in 2022. I don't know why. I don't think this came out in 2023. I've got this for a hot minute, but I completely forgot to mention it. However, they are continuously expanding the shade range also in this product. And this is one of my favorite products of all, 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 all time. And that is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I've got this in the clear shade, in the vanilla shade, and I'm using that every night on my lips as an overnight lip mask. I'm not using this shade overnight though. This is the shade that I'm reaching for during the daytime. This has a brown sugar flavor to it. Oh my gosh, like listen, get out. This smells so divine. You can tell this again has this movie purpley sort of like brown shade it is kind of like a little bit on the sheerer side but it's still it has like medium pigmentation i would say you can definitely use this as a lip gloss and this comes with so much product i think this comes with 15 grams that's so much that's actually a lot of product. This one I just love for my everyday life, you know. Uh, same with this product. These are like two that I constantly use. Let's actually talk about a lip oil that I truly adore. I am not sure if you can actually purchase this though, but this was part of an entire collection that I purchased and this is from Unearthly Cosmetics and this is their lip oil in the shade Ruin. This has such a high shine impact it is just one of the best lip oils I've ever tried. This is not tacky. It's not like a liquidy, runny sort of situation, you know. Usually most lip oils are just too thin. For me, this is like cushiony and thick and I love it. And I really hope that Unearthly is gonna release this separately with a shade range. That would be amazing. Again, this is the shade Ruin. If you can still get that Devour collection somewhere, don't sleep on it. I'm not saying buy the entire collection just because of the lip oil, but if you have this, count yourself lucky because it's amazing. All right, and then the very last product of today's video is gonna go to a product that was also not released in 2023. I have been using this product since 2019 or 2020, but they have released a specific shade that I'm in love with. I'm actually wearing this right now. Can you guess what product it is? It is no other than the Fit Glow Beauty Lip Color Serum in the shade Coco. This formula is more of like a gel, cushiony type of formula. The formula that I actually like when it comes to any lip product. You know, it's not tacky, it's not sticky, none of that. This is perfection. And I've been loving these since years and this shade Coco definitely does deserve a mention in today's video. And what can I say other than I freaking love this. This is amazing. And this pairs so, so, so well with my beloved Lawless lip liner in the shade Nude Honey. This combination, I love it. But all right, you guys, those were all of my favorite products of 2023. 
Let me know in the comment section down below in case you have tried out any of the products that were featured in today's video or just let me know what was your favorite product of 2023. I would be very, very curious to know. I honestly cannot wait to see what 2024 has in store for us. Just be reminded that I'm still going to be doing the counterpart to this video. I'm going to be doing the worst of 2023 very soon on here. And also I'm still going to be doing my eyeshadow ranking, my yearly eyeshadow ranking when ranking ranking all of my eyeshadow palettes that I've tried out in 2023. So just stay tuned on here and if you did enjoy today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and of course ring the bell in order to get notified about these upcoming videos as well. And until the next one please do take care. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye!